Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about expert systems, their introduction and some real life examples or applications of expert systems in and around us. Okay. So expert system, as we define them, they are decision making information system that try to achieve human like performance or better performance in any given problem area. So what this definition basically means is the first important word here is that an expert system is an information system. OK, so any information system accepts some data as input. It processes that data to convert it into some useful information. Now, this information is being used by this expert system itself to make decisions. So this is an important work. See, Earlier we studied in the previous video decision support systems. In those systems, the decision was being taken by the management, but expert systems are not supporting the management. They are making the decisions on their own based on the information that they have derived from data. OK, and they try to make these decisions as good as human like decisions. OK, so expert systems try that if in a given situation a human was present, then what best decision could have been taken by that human? He, that try that uh, capability is tried by the expert system to be mimicked. Okay, so expert system try to achieve that human-like decision-making power, or even better, it tries to make better decisions than humans. Okay, and how does it do that? An expert system uses artificial intelligence techniques or AI techniques to mimic the expertise of a human expert in a particular problem domain. So the expert system uses artificial intelligence techniques to try to replicate the behavior of a human expert, an expert who is specialized in a particular problem area. OK. Now, an expert system tries to improve its knowledge and decision making power over time as it learns from its experiences. So just like humans learn from their mistakes, they learn from their past experience and use that knowledge to make better decisions in the future. An expert system also tries to improve itself by analyzing how the decisions that it took in the past actually went and how they can be improved and what knowledge can be added to the expert system so that they can make better uh, decisions in the future. Now, how does it actually happen? An expert system is actually called an expert because the human experts add their knowledge, the useful information that they know about a specific problem domain into a database known as a knowledge base in an expert system. So an expert system contains useful knowledge from human experts that is stored inside the expert system. And then there is another component in the expert system, which is known as the inference engine. The inference engine or the rule engine basically contains rules as to how to use the knowledge of the human expert that is stored in the knowledge base and apply it to the current situation. So let me make this more clear with the diagrammatic representation of the components of an expert system or the architecture of an expert system. So any expert system consists of these three main components the user interface, the inference engine and the knowledge base. So what actually happens is we have a human expert who is specialized in a particular field. Say we have a doctor who is specialized in a particular domain or we have a sportsman who is specialized in playing a certain sport. OK, so this expert will share and save its knowledge to the knowledge base of the expert system. Now, this expert system is being used by people who are not experts of this particular problem area that people, those people we are calling non experts. So non experts are the users of the expert system. And how do they interact with the expert system? They send their query to the screen or the user interface that is provided to them by the expert system. So user interface is like any 
a tab or window that you see an application interface that is provided to you in which the non expert can put it put his or her query and based on the query then the problem solution is provided say for example when you open your browser's screen the uh, window that appears in front of you is the user interface that the browser like google chrome or firefox is providing to you you type in your search query and then the results are displayed so whenever a non expert gives in the query to the user interface of the expert system the user interface sends that query or question to the inference engine which is also known as the rule engine now inference engine knows how to use the knowledge from the knowledge base and then give the response to the user interface and this response is then sent to the non expert who asked for the query okay now let's understand these this concept of expert system using real life examples the first example is the chess expert system so for example in there is a scenario in which you want to play a game against uh, a particular player and you are not very good at playing chess so you can make use of the chess expert system in which rules are stored that tell you the inference engine basically stores all the valid rules of the chess game and the knowledge base stores all the useful experiences that the experts the world champions of chess have learned by playing multiple games of chess by winning hundreds of games of chess throughout their lifetime so you can take help from a chess expert system to play a chess game more efficiently okay so uh, an expert system can make a uh, use or make decision on its own or it can supplement a human who is non expert in that field so do not always think that an expert system will work completely on its own just like the figure that it's the diagram that is shown here the picture shows a machine playing the game of the chess but it can also be a scenario when the machine itself is not playing and taking decisions but it is telling its decisions to a human who is then making the moves told by the expert system okay the second example is the medical expert system so there is a very famous expert system that is utilized by the uh, doctors which is known as cadet or cancer detection expert system and it is helpful in identifying cancer at early stages so the inference engine for such an expert system will contain all the rules for uh, uh, that means which symptoms which combination of symptoms lead to cancer which combination of system tell that a particular patient is not cancerous or is not suffering from cancer and the knowledge base will store all the useful experiences from the cancer uh, doctors the doctors who have treated successfully cancer patients and their knowledge and expertise that the rules in rule engine will then utilize to filter out or detect cancer at early stages so an expert system is not only used in the field of sports that is chess it is also used for cancer detection that is in the medical field now comes an expert system for mining see there are situations where uh, it becomes very difficult for human experts to be present at all times that means geographically difficult situations difficult terrains and uh, the situations the temperature or the landscapes are not uh, not not to uh, easy enough for human experts to be present so in such scenarios also we require expert systems that can be used on the field that can be deployed on the field so that they can utilize the knowledge stored by the human experts into them and then take the correct decisions on the site where from where the resources have to be mined The next example is the expert system for car diagnosis. So this is a, a screenshot of a from a research paper that proposes an expert system for diagnosing the or detecting faults in a car. So this is the paper from which this uh, image was taken by me. 
So this paper basically proposes an uh, agent based, that means an AI based engine or expert system that helps to automatically detect the reason for car failure. Okay, And this is useful because there are again situations in which quick help or first help is not available uh, when the car gets uh, stuck into terrains, into roads which are far away from uh, people who can help the person who is stuck with the failed car. So basically when a car is broken down and you are stuck in a location that is far away from where you can get help, in such scenarios an automatic car diagnosis system can help you in detecting and identifying the fault and then you can maybe get on-call help from the person who is actually an expert if required or you can correct the uh, car if the suggestions are provided by the expert system only. Okay. Now, there is also an expert system that is available for agriculture. Again, see, when uh, farmers work in agricultural fields, they are not very much aware of the details of the diseases that can be uh, uh, that can be caught by the crops, the pests that can infect their and affect their crops. So what actually happens is that sensors are deployed at different locations on the fields and an automated expert system continuously monitors the status of such crops. The knowledge in its knowledge base is feeded in by experts in the agricultural field who can detect whether a particular crop will be able to survive, what is the uh, level of uh, uh, diseases that the crops have uh, already taken up and how the expert system can now suggest to the farmer what actions to take. Okay, So these were some examples of expert systems in different fields. That's all for today's video. I hope you have understood this lecture. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video, mind your exam.